Do you need a comprehensive blueprint and action checklist to get organized, run your business as a real business, and ultimately generate more buyer and seller transactions? Well, look no further. Hi, Jan O'Brien here with WBNL Coaching, and in this video, I am so excited to share with you our brand new, right out of the box, modern real estate agent epic checklist. This is going to guide you through all the actionable tasks to complete and the systems to implement to be a successful real estate agent. You know, our goal on this channel is to post videos weekly to help you be the best real estate agent possible. So help us out by liking, subscribing and sharing our videos if you find value here. That's going to help other people find us as well. Let's dive in and I'm going to guide you through the key action items to take now and core business systems for your real estate career. If you hang in there with me to the end, I'm going to show you how to get this completely free download from us along with other free things that we have for you. First of all, I want to cover tasks if you're newly licensed, transferring brokerages, or maybe you've been in the business for a while, but you never really did some of these things. Number one, know the tools and benefits offered by your company. So many agents don't take advantage of tools that you get for free. Check out if you have an intranet or a back office that then maybe links you to all those tools. Maybe you have a CRM, a client relationship management program, a website, a web page, transaction management, marketing tools. Go find out. You must also next have a business email set up with a great email signature block with calls to action links to go to your website and other like your social media and so forth. Don't forget to set up your voicemail and add a call to action like after you introduce yourself and, and who you're with, search all area homes for sale on my website, tampagulfcoastliving.com. You got to think of every available thing that you're doing in your business as an opportunity to drive business. All right. Next, get a professional headshot, get an updated professional headshot if you're new in the, uh, if you've been in the business for a little bit and then maybe you need to order some new business cards or marketing cards. Get branded open house and for sale yard signs. These are the basic toolkit that you need to get going, but there's a few more things. Check out your realtor association locally and at the state level and take any of the training that they have. And then always there are tools that come with your membership. Go figure out what they are and see which ones work for you. Here's three I'm currently using and I highly recommend checking out if they're available to you through your association. The first one's Remind. I am using Remind for data farming and uh, to be able to find uh, prospects. Right now I'm focusing on sellers and guess what? My first set of cards I sent out through Remind to a condo association resulted in, you bet, I have a listing appointment. As I record this, I have a listing appointment in a couple days because of the postcard I sent out through Remind. All right. It works. Traditional things work. Next, eat property watch. This is for sellers also for home valuations. I think most associations have that as a tool. And then if you have new homes in your area, I really like new home source professional or builders update for like a database for new homes. Next, you need a calendar system. You've got to have a calendar system that is in the cloud. You can get it anywhere. And obviously it's on your phone. Purchase a domain name and forward it to your website. Or have it resolved to your website. I recommend branding your name so when people Google you, uh, they find your website. So your name.com, your name realtor.com. You can even get your name dot realtor. Check that out through the National Association of Realtors. There's four other key real estate tools you need to have for your business. I already mentioned the first one. You must have a CRM selected and set up a client relationship management software. This is the foundation of your business. I also believe you need an IDX website. You need a website to get people off of Zillow and Realtor.com and searching on your site where all the listings are available as well and maybe updated more frequently. You need a home search mobile app and you also need a home valuation tool. I mentioned ePropertyWatch. Watch. There are others. You may have something in your company. I also think you need online storage and collaboration. I love Google Drive, but you can use Evernote, Dropbox, whatever works for you. And finally, in this initial little toolkit, set up a Zoom account and learn how to run a video meeting. Video conferencing is not going away. You need to know how to do it and be comfortable with it. Next area, establishing your online and social media presence. 
I'm just gonna say it, write or refresh your bio. If you've never done a great bio, write one, all right? Just do it. Create or update your profiles on Zillow.com, Realtor.com to start with, there are others, but those are the two most important ones. And then get a Google My Business profile, super important, all free. Then you need to get client reviews on key sites like Zillow, Google, Realtor.com. You can also do it on Facebook, LinkedIn, but those first three are the most important. Create or refresh your Facebook business page. If you're gonna run ads, you'll need to have a Facebook page. You all need to get a LinkedIn all-star profile. Create an Instagram account, but only if you're gonna use it. Same thing with YouTube, only if you're committed to video. And most importantly here in this whole section is decide which social media platform that you wanna focus on. Don't try to be on all of them. Now, before I move on, to the other core real estate systems I wanna talk about today, I wanna to let you know that we have an online trading program called Real Estate Sales Builder that covers everything I'm talking about today and everything that's in that epic checklist, which you can get for free. I am talking video tutorials broken down into 12 separate modules that demonstrate how to get it done. Everything I just went over, I have a video for that. How to do Google My Business, how to do Zillow etc. We also give you a ton of downloads, documents, and support materials so that you can get it done for your business. So just click the link above here or in the description below and you can learn how you can get that program from us. Next area to focus on is your marketing and branding. So if you haven't already done so, create an account on canva.com. Then watch Matt Emerson's Canva videos on this channel to learn how to use this amazing marketing tool. You need to set up a brand kit. Guess what? Matt will show you how to do that. Then it's time to customize and brand all your marketing materials. This includes things like a pre-listing package, a home selling guide, a home buyer's guide, just listed and just sold postcards, marketing flyers, postcards for lead gen, branded banners for all social media and all those listing portals. Design a branded monthly local email newsletter in your CRM or use an email service like MailChimp and Constant Contact if you don't have an HTML newsletter feature in your CRM. And finally, decide on a branded closing gift that you could have that you would give to buyers and sellers after closing. So in addition to Canva, a couple other recommended resources to check out, Keeping Current Matters. You know if you listen to any of my videos or watch, I'm a huge fan. We have a link below to our 14 day free trial. I use this every day. I use it for blog posts, uh, for my newsletter, and I love the market update every month. We also use Mailbox Power for personalized note cards and branded gift ideas. Uh, so that's covers marketing and branding. Next, I wanna talk about your real estate business plan, and it is really a critical part of your overall success. All business companies, all business owners have a, a goal, uh, goals, objectives, and a written business plan. It just really is. We believe in this so much that we provide a free mini course on this uh, business planning topic for real estate, where you will be able to get our templates. We're gonna show you how to write smart goals, create a personal and business budget, calculate your closing goals, and then determine the number of appointments and presentations needed to reach your goals. So get the link in the description right above here to get all of our freebies, including our business plan mini course. business plan, your database and client connection system is the next most important area to focus on. Module two of our real estate sales builder program and the epic checklist that you can download, we cover the priority action items uh, for this system, including how to choose and set up your CRM with all your contacts sorted and categorized, how to create an introduction or reconnect letter, or actually if you have our program, you can take ours and customize it and send it to everyone letting them know about your VIP, client program, your perks, whatever you wanna call it, your client appreciation program. And it's gonna include things like recognizing them on their birthdays, uh, sending a home anniversary card or some type of connection, doing an annual market analysis for them, holiday connections. Maybe you're gonna put on client events or workshops or client appreciation events. And the last piece of this for your sphere of influence in your database is to get that local newsletter template set up 
and send it monthly to everyone that's in your database. So hey, we, just, we think that's so important that we just, Matt and I just did a video on this, so check it out. It's uh, on how to create a local newsletter from A to Z. Everything including how to do it in Canva and you can get a link in Canva to our template to some of the things that you need for that newsletter uh, for the header and the footer and so forth. Next, it's your action items to complete a buyer and sales system, including things like customizing a buyer's consultation presentation, deciding on the tactics you're gonna use to find and convert buyers. And I just have to throw this in every time I have an opportunity. The most important thing that is gonna impact your business, bar none, is committing to one to two hours of lead generation and activities daily. I'm gonna talk more about what those can be here in a minute, but if you don't have that on your calendar, your business is just gonna suffer, period, end of story. You also need to how to share your home search app with buyers. You need to get one and learn how to use it and how to share it with buyers, okay? This is gonna help you get keep them engaged. Then in your CRM, you need a before, during, and after email templates or campaign to stay top of mind to provide that excellent customer service. Also, a complete buyer checklist with everything that you need to close a transaction, including the paperwork and all the little things that you need to do to be successful to close a buyer side transaction which also leads me to creating an online transaction tracker using a program like Google Drive or whatever collaboration tool you like to help you stay organized. There's a lot to know. Uh, you don't wanna keep it all up here in your head. You want it out of your head and into a trusted system. So if you have a buyer system, stands to reason you need a seller and listing system. So list to last in any market, right? Listing is so important. Becoming a listing, a great listing agent, I think is where most people need to put a little bit more time in. I find many agents are comfortable working with buyers and they just haven't really mastered uh, working with sellers. So identify any of the skill set areas you want to refine and commit to a plan of practicing and role playing and learning. Become a great listing agent. So what do I mean by that? Your overall knowledge of the listing process how to be the expert, the local market expert. It also includes prospecting and marketing, presenting and closing skills, and then ultimately your negotiating skills. You also need to decide and commit to the seller attraction strategies to implement for your business. So obviously your database, but maybe you're gonna to wanna to learn expireds or for sale by owners or farming and niche or specialty farms. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit more about that in just a minute. But while we're in the seller system, you have to lock in your listing presentation and marketing. What are you gonna do? Customize your pre-listing presentation and your unique value proposition. And then what is your marketing and service commitment, okay? Uh, you need seller action plans just like you need buyer action plans in your CRM that cover before, during, and after. You need 100% complete profiles on Zillow and Realtor.com. And then back to your marketing tactics. You know, what's your advertising budget per listing? Are you, what exactly are you going to do? Do you do single property websites? What's your social media plan? Are you going to do advertisements? And most importantly, professional photography and video. Make sure you're leveraging that. So many people are being lazy because the market is so easy right now as far as listings. You need to get back to doing professional video and marketing and photos always. That's the best thing that you can be doing for your seller in the long run. We think listings and sellers are so important. We've dedicated two complete modules in our real estate sales builder program. Definitely go check out that out and you can learn more about what we cover. Successful real estate agents are effectively working three to five lead pillars. So have you chosen yours yet? So we all have our sphere of influence, our client referrals. I've talked about that system already. I recommend choosing at least two more but not more than four. These can be everything from holding effective open houses, working expireds and for sale by owners, your online lead generation program and, and system and strategies, getting involved in your community and attending networking and other events. Then there is this huge area of farming to consider. Farming isn't just geographic, however. However, choosing and working a neighborhood that you like, and it will work when you are consistent with your connection tactics and you provide value. You, you have to stick with it. Basically, anything you choose as a lead pillar, you must do consistently, you must be persistent, and you need to provide value. So you can also decide on working a niche farm, something that you are interested in and passionate about beyond a geo area, right? This could be out-of-state owners, absentee owners, investors, distressed properties. 
It can also be things like a hometown farm and a surname farm. You can learn more about that in our program. Uh, then there are specialties like probate, divorce, demographic specialties like working with military, seniors, first time home buyers, or you can become a property specialist. Maybe you like condos or high rise or golf course or waterfront properties. Our Epic Checklist contains all the action items to discover and effectively market to a niche or specialty. And of course, we have you covered on this important area in our Real Estate Sales Builder program. The last important area to cover is business and fundamentals of finances. So here are a few highlights for this business system. Have you set up a separate business bank account? Do you have separate tax savings and personal savings and an operations account for your business? Start using an accounting or bookkeeping software like QuickBooks. Better yet, hire a professional to help you with that. Also, talk to a tax consultant or an attorney about the best way to set your business up should you incorporate. And if you do, set yourself up on a payroll service, you'll definitely get the benefits of that. The other things that you need to do in this financial business area is, is master your CRM. Use it every single day. Review your annual business quarterly. Create a dashboard of metrics to measure how your business is doing. Things like a business budget, um, production tracking. How are you doing with your business? What's working? Profit and loss statement. Measuring your return on investment, okay? So there you have it. An overview and some action items to work on right now so you can run your business like a real business and be one step closer to staying organized and more productive. Now, if you want to grab a copy of our Modern Real Estate Agent Epic Checklist, just click on the link in the description below and you'll be on your way to getting organized and on top of your business. Take a test drive of our training by registering for one of our free courses. And if you are ready for some step-by-step -step guidance, I encourage you to join our private Facebook group, The Dream Builders. We do a free monthly group coaching and training session where you can ask us anything. You also get discounts on our training courses and so much more. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Don't forget to get that epic checklist and get to work.